In Encode GUI, you have a choice between two video resolution upscaling tools to upscale your videos. In this video, you will learn how to use those upscaling tools properly and effectively. The latest version of Encode GUI as of making this video is version 1.0.7, which is only available to patrons until July 31st. You can find more details on how to become a patron for Encode GUI early access updates in the video description. The latest free version of Encode GUI as of making this video is version 1.0.5. Let's go ahead and get started. If you haven't done so already, I highly suggest that you watch the introduction video of Encode GUI and also watch the video guide to video, audio, and subtitle encoding as the content in those videos will be needed to be learned before attempting the steps in this guide. Once you have watched those videos, you'll be ready to continue further. So once you have selected the source video file, you're going to want to select the video codec and you want to configure its settings. Afterwards, head over to the Upscaling tab under the Vaporsynth tab in the Video tab. Select the checkbox on the top of the page to enable the resolution upscaling. The first option you'll want to set is the tool and this selection will largely depend on the amount of upscaling you want. If you want to upscale the video by only up to 2 times the source resolution, then select Wavefu 2x. If you need to upscale the video higher, then you'll want to opt for SRMD as it allows 4 times the upscaling from the source resolution. However, it should also be noted that the SRMD upscaling tool is also about 2 times slower than the Wavefu 2x upscaling tool when using the same settings. Looking at the Wavefu 2x settings, the first setting you'll want to configure is the GPU device you want to set, and you'll want to make sure that the GPU you select also supports the Vulkan Graphics API. Beside the GPU selection is the GPU thread count option, and an all around good value for this is 2 threads. Note that more threads won't necessarily increase the speed of the process. The next setting is the AI model to select. You'll want to select the anime model for cartoon or other computer generated content. Select the photo model for reality videos or videos recorded using a camera. Kunet is used specifically for 2D animations and also note that it is about 2 times slower than the other models in this list. There is also a denoise only option which allows you to denoise the video. The next option is the noise reduction level and you want to set this to medium for most videos. However, if your video has noticeable noise, then you'll want to select a higher value. Next is to set the color precision and you'll want to leave this on FP32 for the highest quality upscale. For faster upscaling, you could set this to FP16, but there could be a noticeable loss of colors. Lastly is to set the output resolution and like mentioned earlier, this could be anywhere between 1 times and 2 times the source resolution. The maximum output resolution is set by default. Beside is the option to auto adjust part of the resolution so that your video can maintain the same aspect ratio. You can override this feature by deselecting the checkbox shown. Now we'll be taking a look at the SRMD resolution upscaling tool. You'll want to use this tool if you need up to 4 times the upscaling from the source resolution. The first option to configure here once again is the GPU and the GPU threads. Set the GPU to a GPU of your choice but ensure that the GPU you select supports the Vulkan Graphics API. You'll want to set the threads to 2 and keep in mind that more threads isn't going to make the process faster. Next is setting the noise reduction and you'll want to set this to 3 or 4 for videos with no visible noise. If your video does have noticeable noise then you'll want to consider setting this to 5 or higher. The next option is setting the TTA which allows a higher quality upscale but will make the process significantly slower. Lastly is to set the output resolution and the same rules are going to apply here as seen in the Wavefu 2x section of this guide. The output resolution is set to the maximum by default. You can set the output resolution anywhere between 1 times and 4 times the source resolution. If you want to manually assign the resolution to both the height and the width, then you can deselect the checkbox beside and then the audio adjust will be disabled. With that being said, this concludes everything regarding the upscaling and denoising functions in Encode GUI. I hope you find everything in this video useful for your needs and if you need to find out more information, you can do so by visiting the Encode GUI documentation linked in the video description below. Please also consider becoming a patron for Encode GUI so that you can get early access to updates, priority support, and also a dedicated role in this channel's Discord server. Be sure to also like and subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss the next new video for Encode GUI. Regardless, thank you everyone for your support and I'll see you all next time.